What's up? So I was thinking about people's mental health through all this. And I, for one, have clinical depression. I was diagnosed with that a while ago. Anxiety, ADHD, anger issues. Um, and it's something I'm very conscious of. Uh, like I mentioned before, I died a year ago. And quite literally today, I woke up from a coma a year ago after dying. And it's it really affected my life. I had to, like, you know, I'm like, hey, I'm fucking dead. Like, you got to get together or die, die and make sure nobody finds me kind of thing. And I got it together. It's been a lot of work and it's a moment to moment thing. And um, I'm very conscious and very proactive of where my head is and where my attitude is and where my reactions to other people are and you know, it's how I behave and being mature and being a grown ass man. And, you know, so me being conscious, very conscious of my emotions and my mental state and my spiritual state for that matter. Um, I'm noticing that I'm getting blue, you know, I'm getting depressed because I'm cooped up. I go to work, I shower and I fucking veg, like, what are you going to do? You know, I can't take my kids to the park because you can't, you don't have the right to assemble anymore. <laughs> That's real. You can't even go to the council meeting in your town and ask your elected officials, people that are supposed to be working for you, what the fuck is going on? You can't even do that. You can't ask them, what are you doing to my fucking civil rights? You can't even do that. You can't even have a circle jerk. <laughs> Pause. You know what I mean? You can't do nothing. No funerals, no block parties. It's crazy, man. And people are going to be losing their minds. They already are. I was in traffic yesterday making a left. This guy coming at me at the right away. He stopped at the green light and was looking at me. And I put my hands up like, yo, what are you doing? Nothing malicious. And I hang out my window and throw something at him. And he lost his shit. Lost it. And uh, it made me think, man. Like, I'm feeling blue. And I can recognize it. This guy was losing his shit. Like, his wife's probably driving him up a wall. Whatever. Or he's uncertain about his life and he's not content and he's not happy and worried. Man, I bet societies at large is like that, man. People at work that I work with, a lot of them are just stay away from me and wearing masks and gloves and like, stay the fuck home, you pussy. Like, I'll get overtime if you stay home. So get the fuck out of here with your weak bullshit. You know, it's craziness. And it's going to be interesting to see, you know, like people losing their minds and they're going to get turned violent. That's exactly what the system wants from us. They want us to get violent so they can come in and strip all the rest of our civil rights away. And uh, that's going to be fucking unfortunate. But you know, what are you going to do? You know, the other issue I was thinking about was the mass media has everybody, not everybody, but the vast majority of people like... Huh? Just hook in the mouth, believing everything they say, and they're they're all spinning the same web, the same same story. They're all spitting the same thing, which means it's all being propagated by one source: the powers that be, right? The G five summit people, or G whatever number it is now. Um, the, the same mass media that lied. About everything, they they lied about nine eleven. They didn't. They, nobody does investigative reporting anymore. They didn't investigate nine eleven. They didn't investigate the Pentagon stealing, losing trillions the day before. That all got swept under the rug by nine eleven, and they didn't investigate nine eleven. Somebody mentions Bin Laden, and that's the story they stuck with. Nobody investigated shit. They all had the same story. Um. Podesta and his homies literally stick penises inside of children. Media doesn't look into it. This same media is telling you jump. Not you necessarily, you you watching this, but telling people to jump and they're jumping. They're out of their minds. Lose your shit. Lose your mind. Okay. Stay inside and be a pussy. Okay. 
It's amazing. And my boy Chris at work told me, he mentioned uh, how even woke people are falling for it too. And he's right. Go all the... I've, I've unsubscribed to 100 people on YouTube because they're perpetuating the same shit. So that's either that either means they're a part of it or they're suckers. And I'm sucker free, you know. And something about the mental health thing, staying sucker free includes yourself. You could be your own worst enemy or you could be your own best advocate. And I suggest you be your own best advocate and be prepared emotionally stay strong stay optimistic stay positive surround yourself by loved ones if you're feeling shitty speak up you know who you're cool with you know who loves you all that you know anybody that smiles at you on a daily basis if you're feeling shitty speak the fuck up or else it's going to eat you up and you're going to succumb and you're going to be a victim and there are way too many victims and suckers out there right now. So many, so many that it's dooming us as, uh, just as humans. We're fucked if people don't get their heads out of their asses. That's about it. It's my like fourth time trying to do this. I keep knocking my phone over, try to do it outside and watching the sun rise. <laughs> anyway, stay positive. Turn your fucking TV off. Get the fuck off of Facebook. Surround yourself with loved ones. Live in the moment. Enjoy the moment. You don't know what tomorrow is going to happen. What's going to be tomorrow. I'm fucking tired. I got to go. I love y'all. Stay up. Peace.